Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Cave of Collectibles. I hope you all had a great Australia Day, and you're having a great week for those of you going back to school or back to work now that the holidays are over. Well, I wish you all the best. But today, I want to do something which I'm quite excited by. I've got these two comics here for an overview. I don't have the Harley Quinn one with me because I've already got it in the other trades. But I wanted to do a quick overview of these Birds of Prey graphic novels before the movie came out. We've got the Black Canary one, whoop, which has just fallen down. The Black Canary one on the left and the Huntress one on the right. Birds of Prey is a movie which I am really, really looking forward to. I think that's got a fantastic cast. And honestly, I really love the character designs. The Huntress, Black Canary, Harley Quinn, all of them, I think they look really, really awesome. Which is why I wanted to do a quick overview of these comics, because not necessarily about the content, but man, I just love these covers. They look absolutely incredible. As I just mentioned, I already do have the Harley Quinn content, which is covered by the new Birds of Prey Harley Quinn graphic novel, but I've seriously been considering picking it up for the cover alone, just so I can have the set of the three of these displayed. I think it'll look really, really good on the shelf. But yeah, let's give you guys a quick overview of these books. I'm really looking forward to the Birds of Prey movie, and I hope you all are too. We get it. Oh... Just over a week away now, I think. Man, January has flown by. So let's do Birds of Prey Huntress first by Greg Rucker and Rick Burchett. Like always, forgive my pronunciation. I can't say names. I've never been able to. And unless somebody's telling me how to say them, I will butcher it, even if I say it slowly or try and pronounce it properly. But anyway... This is the front cover, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think the purple really brings out the colour of Huntress. You've got a great character design there. Um, oh, I've forgotten the actress's name, but it just slipped my head. The spine on these books are pretty awesome as well, if you can see it there. You've got Huntress there on the side, the same art as the front. And on the back we have the comic Huntress that we all know. And a little bit about the book. It's 1999 American, which translates to roughly 30 Australian. One interesting thing about these is that one is pretty much double the size. I thought you'd be paying more for that, but they've got the same cover price, which is quite interesting. The Huntress one is collecting... Where are we? Right down there. Batman Huntress Cry for Blood 1 through 6. So this is a bit of an older story. Yeah. Once again, I love this matte paper. I really love the sort of colours and the brightness and that sort of thing in regards to this new Birds of Prey movie. I think it really suits the characters, Harley Quinn especially, but yeah, I love how it sort of transitioned over to a few of the pages of the new graphic novels. So as you can see, the art is a little bit dated. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination, but not my favourite stuff. I really do like the modern art. I know there's some great classic artists and great writers, but I'm always a sucker for the newer stuff. I think the newer stuff just looks far better. There we go. Flick through the story quite quickly. I'm not too sure what happens in this one yet, but I'll probably give it a quick read before the movie comes out. If I have time, that is, having two kids and all. Some of you will know what that is like, but the art in here, yeah, it's not too bad. The colour saturation is good. Once again, I reckon this art actually really suits the matte paper. I think it really brings the story to life. And there's Huntress right there. I was going close. I think it really causes her to pop. But the colours aren't too saturated in here, unfortunately. The, or the colouring, it's not vibrant. It's just a bit more muted and a bit more toned down than some of the newer stuff. Yeah, there we go. I don't think there are any... Oh, there are a few extras at the back, which I think that might just be the end of the story. Flip it over. And literally the cover for the original trade paperback and 
for the new one, the collection edition cover, which is actually really nice to have that there without all the art. If they were posters or something, that would be awesome to have framed. It would actually look really, really cool. That looks like a chain going down over there as well. And some advertisements for some more books. Now, here we are. Birds of Prey, Black Canary. This is the one I'm really, really looking forward to reading. And this collects the new 52, or the stuff which came just after the new 52 in the DCU era, I think, by Brendan Fletcher, Anne Wu, Sandy, Gerald, and Pia Guerrero. I think that's how you say it. Once again, don't hold me. Don't quote me on that. And as you can see, this is a pretty chunky one. So for the price, I reckon this is really, really good value. And it connect, collects Black Canary 1 through 12 and DC Sneak Peek. Black Canary number 1. Once again, I think, I reckon I like the character design for Black Canary the best in the new Birds of Prey. I know it's not 100% comic accurate, or it's probably not complete. It's inspired by the comics, I know they said. They took inspiration for her from the movie from Injustice 2. But I really, really like this character design, even though it's not our traditional Dinah Lance. And once again, you've got the greens and blues in this one, more so than the other stuff. And I love the um, credit pages there. It looks awesome. And this one is really, really thick. But I do love the art in this book as well. This is a much newer one, but this is a bit more stylized art. But I reckon it really, really suits the story, and it really brings, really, really brings out the character of Black Canary. I really like the color saturation in this book as well. It's nice and vibrant, and like the other one, it's on the matte paper. Interestingly, when the matte paper first came out, it wasn't something that I really liked. But the more I see it, the more I look at it the more I really, really like it, and I actually think it's far superior to the glossy paper now, in most cases anyway. It felt a little bit cheap at first, but now I know it's thicker paper, it's much thicker paper than the glossy stuff, so it feels a bit more durable as well, which I think would be a great thing with some comics, especially if you have kids around the house. That's a great cover there with Black Canary and Batgirl. She features in the story here. It's a shame we won't see her in the new Birds of Prey movie. But it is what it is. I'm just glad we're getting a Birds of Prey movie. Even if it is Harley Quinn focused. Mind you, I don't think that's a bad thing at all. But the art in this book is great. Let's quickly jump to what's at the back. There's a few little... Who is Black Canary? A bit of just extra information to read and... Here we go. There's just a couple of variant covers. That's a beautiful one there. I wish... Oh, it'd be just great if these were posters that you could pull out. <laughs> no, it's not great to rip pages out of your books. But some of these variants and artwork pages are just too awesome to be kept in the back of a book. It's something which you want to have on display and see more often. But anyway, guys, that is it with these books. If I pick up the Harley Quinn one, I might give you a quick overview of that as well. But otherwise, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment of what you want to see next. I've got a Sideshow Box unboxing coming up later this week. I keep printing it off because I want to spread it out a little bit more. But anyway, guys, have a great week. I hope you're all as looking as forward to this new movie as I am. And I will see you all in the next video.